Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a vertical video like this for your YouTube Shorts, your TikTok videos, or for your Instagram Reels. For this, you have to create a vertical format which has aspect ratio of 19 is to 16 rather than having 16 is to 19. So let's start. Right now, as you can see, I'm in an edit mode. Here, the first thing we need to do is scale up the screen. There are two ways you can do it. Let's try out the first way. Here down below, you have to click on project settings. And in master settings, we have 16 is to 9 aspect ratio, which is a full HD format defined by resolution 1920 by 1080. But as we want vertical format, just check this checkbox, use vertical resolution, and it will invert the resolution to vertical format. Save this format. And now you can notice the screen is in vertical format. Let's try out the other method. The other method to set your screen to vertical is just go to this pool over here, right click and create a new timeline. Well, you even have a shortcut for this, just press Ctrl N and it will pop up the same window. However, just disable this use project settings checkbox as it will take settings from your project settings. Now you can rename this timeline over here. Suppose I have to rename it as YouTube Shorts. You can decide how many video and audio track you want with this timeline format. Now go to format. Here, in timeline resolution, we have 1920 by 1080 resolution. To invert this resolution, just enable this use vertical resolution checkbox. Let rest of the things as it is. And if you really need to change some of it, you can change it. Go on and click on create. You can notice the screen is set to vertical now. Let's drag our video and put it on the timeline. You can see that this YouTube Shorts timeline is enabled here. Now you can notice that the video is not acquiring the whole screen. Let's zoom it out. It is the position where you want to focus. You can even do this by enabling this transform window. You can stretch it and fill the whole screen. You can change the focus of the video. If this is not going with you and you want every element of the video must be on the screen, then the other thing that we can do to fill rest of your screen is just go to the effects library. In open effects, go to filters and scroll down below and search for blanking fill. This is present in Resolve FX Stylize. Now select this blanking fill and drag and apply it on your footage. It will automatically fill the background of your footage with the same clip on which you have applied. Now let us fix this some more. Now first go to this drop down arrow and enable this FX window. You can notice that there are some left out edges around the video over here. You can simply drag this bar and fix it out. Or what you can do is go to inspector panel and go to effects. Here under blanking fill, you have to expand this source. And here, you can reduce this crop left and crop right. Let's go ahead and fix it more better. So go to this fill appearance. First of all, let's disable this FX window. And in fill appearance, we have blend edges. So let's blend the edges a little bit. Now let's blur the background. You can even fade it out and choose the fade color for a smooth fading you can choose black color fade it some more and done then go to drop shadow and fix this shadow strength now let's play the video and see the effects If you want to know how you can join two clips in DaVinci Resolve please click on the video at the top right corner of your screen so that's it guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve videos in future, please subscribe our channel as it will notify you whenever a new content like this come out. Feel free to comment down below and let us know what other new videos would you like to see in future. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next. Bye bye.